Hi lovely people, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name's Kate, this is my library and in today's video we have a bit of an unboxing. bought books in a while the last time I bought them I think it was during the um, January Christmas holidays um, and I've been eyeing these off for a while and I had a bit of money so I thought why not um, so I've got fairy loot some Amazon and some that I've bought in store um, I'm excited to go through them with you we might go in different orders and see what ones we like the most. Um, we might start with fairy loot actually. We might start with fairy loot. If you're a person who loves books and reading and bookish things and pretty much anything to do with paper really because I do journaling as well. Um, hit that subscribe button. I put out videos irregularly. I'm not going to be lying to you they're just sporadic at the moment but I try and get out one once a week so we will see if that will continue sometimes I just put bursts of videos out I don't know um I kind of just go with what feels right and what feels right for me so um yes let's start and I think we're going to start with the fairy loop so this is April's fairy loot. I have had it on my doorstep for a while now. I don't know where I put my scissors. One second. Okay. Also, do you like my new angle? I, I thought we'd try something different. Like I've got a table here that I used to do flat lays on. Don't really do them as much anymore, but thought that this would be a cool idea because I do like unboxings. I do do a lot of unboxings. I thought it'd be good for journaling too because I want to get back into that soon. So we will see. But let's have a look at April's Fairy Loot and see if I am going to keep it. Because I'm at the point where I haven't liked um, them as much as I have previously. So let's get into it. So today's spoiler card, um, well the theme is Dare to Dream. It is the April one, kind of like King arthur -y. I kind of like that. That's cute. It will focus. Anyway, first things first, we have some socks. These are true story socks designed by Jez Hawk, I believe. Um, so they're quite cute actually. So I'll just show you. I do like little ankle socks. Look at look at my hand pockets. Um, it is has an eye and then it has true story on it. They're quite nice actually. I uh, don't know if they'll fit my big feet because I am a hobbit. So Anyway, I like the purple theme. Oh, this is cute. So this is a bowl cozy. Um, I've had diff. I've got so many bowl cozies. My mum made me so many. Um, but this one's cute too. I think this would be cute as like just even like a coaster, like a rug mug. That would be cute too. Um, this is designed. This is a violet bowl cozy, uh, produced by Fairy Loot. I don't know if it has a specific design that it's meant to go with, but anyway. Oh! Oh, okay. We should appreciate the flower regardless of the roots. That is a beautiful... Oh my gosh, what are they called? It's not a book tote. Book sleeve! my brain it is a beautiful book sleeve it is the same design on the front and back and we have the fairy loot um zipper this is like a faux leather material leather material um i do like that it's got like the padding inside so if you're using hard covers it won't hurt i don't know what d-o-t-m-g book sleeve daughter of the moon goddess see i knew what it was Okay, what else have we got here? We have the book, which we'll get to in a minute. We have our usual tarot cards. I'm going to put this on for 
I'm going to end it with so much stuff on the floor. Oh, cute. So we've got this one. She's cute. It's kind of like an archangel. Is she meant to be Athena? Maybe. And is this Hades? Or is this Nyx? Who knows? But that's cute too. I like, I like their bookmarks. Oh, and then we have two tarot cards. My neighbors across the road were looking at me. The first one here looks like the girl from, um, oh, what's it called? Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And then this guy who might be from Daughter of Smoke and Bone as well, but cute. And then we have, oh, I got two art prints. That's cool. I have two art prints. So if you're missing an art print, I have one. Okay, let's have a look at the book. Okay. I have been spoiled for the book, but that's fine. That happens. Ugh. Okay, so I don't know who this guy is. I don't know. Um, is he the guy from uh, Shadow Me? Also, is Shadow Me making like a return? Because I'm all here for that. Uh, we have the usual Fairy Loot bookmark that goes with the book thing, thingy my bobby, my spoiler card. Oh, she's cute. This is the letter from the author. Oh, okay. I just saw her in the back. Dear reader, I have a confession to make. I love Enya. Unironically and deeply. I love Enya too. Oh my gosh. You are now my fave. Okay, cool. That is so cool. I love, like, the art style. Like, cute. We have the fairy scoop, which we'll check in a minute. Oh! And then we have the book. Silver in the Blood. We have, oh my god, what? <gasps> that is beautiful. That's epic. Can you see that? Like, it is exactly the same as what's on the cover. That is amazing. And then it's blue, and then, like, blue. Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful. Oh, she wrote Law. I never end up reading that. Okay, let's have a look under... There's no reverse dust jacket, so that's fine. We've got under the dust jacket is this girl. And then we've got... That's beautiful. Oh, my God. Okay. I kind of want to read this now. Also, who's this guy on the front? I want to know. And what's with the, the scar on the face? Hello, anime star. Also, this guy on the front. Like, what's with the gloves? Are they dragon gloves? Please tell me more. Tell me more. Like, tell me more. Okay. Let's read what it's about. <sighs> Tamsin Lark is a howl... Howler? Breaking into the ancient crypts of dark sorcerers in search of the treasure inside. Now numer sorry, now rumors are swirling about a powerful ring from a Thurian legend, a ring that could free her brother, uh, Caleb, from a curse. But they aren't the only ones who covet it. A word as word spreads, greedy howlers start circling, and many would kill to have the ring for themselves. Tamsin is forced into an alliance with her rival Emery's. Uh, the last person she wants to rely on. Together, they dive headfirst into a viper's nest of dark magic and expose a deadly secret with the power to awaken ghosts from the past and shatter her last hope of saving her brother. Driven by love, revenge, and pure adrenaline, this is the stunning new novel from one of the top fantasy authors. <gasps> is this enemy to lovers? If so, I'm picking this up. But I have, like, okay, here's my, here's my dilemma, right? I love, love these special edition books and like I will pay big money for these special edition books. But in the same breath, I don't want to read them and damage them. So what do I do? Do I go buy like the cheaper, ver the paperback version or do I just read it on Kindle? <sighs> so many choices. Like if I buy the paperback version, then I can just take it to school. So that works too. But I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be like a long thing for later. Fairy Scoop, Dare to Dream. That's cute. 
Next month's theme is Feuding Gods. The legends have passed down through the ages tales of mighty beings who hold the world in their grasp and those anger can unleash catastrophic chaos upon our realm. Is there anything more pre prevalent than a god? Is a fandom neutral box with your inspiration gods mythology? Yes. Um. Ooh, there's foiling on the next one. That's nice. Okay. Let's have a look at the spoiler card. I put this lady in here for now, and these guys in here for now, because we will find them out. Ah, oh, we'll, we'll just we'll just read the spoiler card. Okay. So first things first, we have the Zippo Cozy. Uh, protect your hands from the heat or cold with this beautifully designed bowl cozy inspired by Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chan. I have not read that yet. Uh, next one is the Art Prince. Yes, it is Aaron. Okay. Uh, bring a touch of dreaminess into your space with this stunning art print featuring Aaron Warner from the Shadow Me series. I really want to go back and reread it. Anyway, I have two of those, so. Anyway. Ankle socks. Step up your bookish game with these gorgeous ankle stocks inspired by Daughter of the uh, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. There we go. Yes, good guess, Kate. Okay, next we've got the book sleeve. Uh, protect your beautiful uh, books with this. Yes, Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Good guess, Kate. And then we've got the collection of mythology bookmarks. Where are we? Too many things in here. Okay. Stunning bookmarks picked Morpheus, the god of sleep. Uh, Morpheus, the god of sleep. And Nike, the goddess of victory. Ooh, good job, good job. Okay, and then the last two. Tarot cards uh, features Aiken um, as the five of stars and Kira as the six of cards. The characters from Daughter... What? Yeah, they are from Daughter of the... Um, Yes, so this is the main girl from Daughter of Smoke and Bone and then the love interest. So, that's cool. Yes, I like that. Not sure if I'm going to keep it. Like, keep the subscription. It may, it may have survived another day. It may have survived another day. Okay, let's move on to the next things. I have so many things. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, next on the list, let's do the ones that I found in store. So I've got two. These are from QBD. We have a Nettle and Bone. Uh, this is by T. King Fisher. I have heard so many things about this. This was $35. The sticker, though, is on the cover. Like, come on, people. Um, this is hardcover. It is a beautiful edition. It's got, like, that copper look there. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this is about. Let's read it. This isn't a fairy tale where the princess marries a prince. It's the one where she kills him. Ooh. After years of seeing her sister suffer at the hands of the abusive prince, Mara, the shy covenant raised third born daughter, has uh, finally realized that no one is coming to their rescue. No one except Mara herself. Seeking help from a powerful grave witch, Mara is offered the tools to kill a prince. If she can complete three impossible tasks. But as but as is the way in tales of princes, witches, and daughters, the impossible is the only the beginning. On her quest, Maya is joined by the Grave Witch, a reluctant fairy godmother, a strapping former knight, and a chicken possessed by a demon. What? Together, the five of them intend to be the hand that closes around the throat of the prince and frees Maya's family and their kingdom from its tumultuous ruler, uh, sorry, Tyrannus ruler at last. Demon chicken? Did you just say demon chicken? I'm intrigued. And it's quite short, actually. So, that's cute. Demon chicken. Okay. Okay, and the next one I got is The Road Crown, book two of the five crowns of Ocrin. Um, this is the second book in the High Mountain Court series. I really enjoyed that. I have a whole reading vlog of that. I will leave it linked up above for you. Um, but this looks cool. Why does it say book three on the back and book two on the front? Which one is it? Um, excuse me? 
why? Is this book three or two? This is book three. <sighs> wow. That's a misprint. Right there. So look, it says book two on the front. And then book three on the back. I was going to read that. <sighs> Glad I didn't. Because if I did, and I got spoilers for the second book, I would have been pissed off. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get into the Amazon boxes. Um, not sure how many I've got in here. Um, I kind of just went with... I don't know. I, I had a list. I picked the ones on the list I wanted. Let's figure out if they are exactly what I want. Um, or are they going to the library school? Anyway. Ooh. I opened this up the other way, but anyway. So this is... Da, da, da. This is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. This is the UK um, library edition. So this one doesn't actually have a dust jacket. However, it is in the black look, which is just what I wanted. And it has these beautiful mushrooms and it's kind of got like this velvet finish. Yes, I did pay more for this. Yes, I'm happy about that because look at it. Like, how could you not? It's just beautiful. Um, if you don't know what this is, a lot of people have been talking about it. Um, it is just gorgeous. Um, essentially, it's Cambridge professor Emily Wilde is a genius scholar who is writing the world's first encyclopedia of fairy lore. And Emily lives for her work. She empathetically um, prefers the company of her books, her dog, Shadow, and the fair folk to other people. So, anyway, she is trying to write this encyclopedia. There is a rival that is following her around or something. I'm not sure if this is enemies to lovers or not, or whether it's got no spice at all. I'm fine with that. I'm just excited because it is absolutely beautiful, and I love fairies. Like... Since childhood, love fairies. But how gorgeous is this one? I've just got to fix up the back where it's got like shiny stuff on it. I'm going to have to clean that. But anyway, it's just cute. But like how sinister do his hands look just there? That looks so sinister. But gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. Okay. Now for the big and the last box. Um... I'm glad I got these big scissors like they have been a savior many many times I have kicked the dogs out of here today too because I got them some balls and they're being nuts about them so ah. okay books let's start with the top one Okay, so book one by Susan Dannard, who is the person who wrote The Truth Witch, or The Wind Witch in that as well. So this is The Luminaries. Um, it says, you'll be drawn in and leave you uh, begging for more by Lee Bardugo. Have a look at that cover. That is just beautiful. So Hemlock Falls isn't like other towns. You won't find it in a map, your phone won't work here, and the forest outside town might kill you. Winnie Wednesday, love the alliteration, wants nothing more than to join the Illuminaries, the ancient order that protects humanity from the nightmares that rise in the forest of Hemlock Falls each night. Ever since her father was exposed as a traitor, Winnie and her family have been shunned, but on her 16th birthday, she can take the deadly Illuminary hunting trials and restore her family's good name or die trying. In order to survive, Winnie must enlist the help of the one person who can train her. J Friday. Really? Oh, Wednesday and Friday. Resident bad boy and Winnie's ex-best friend. While Jay might be the best hunter in Hemlock Falls, he also knows more about the forest nightmares than he should. And together he and Winnie will discover a danger lurking in Hemlock Falls that no one is prepared for. Not all monsters can be slain and not all nightmares are confined to the dark. That sounds cool. Um, What's with the days of the week? I'm sure I'll figure that out, but how cute is that cover? It is a shorter book as well. I did get this in the paperback because I did not like the look of the hardcover. I like this more, so 
sometimes that happens. Oh my god, yes! Okay, so the next book. Um, this is book three, I believe. The Secret Service of Tea and Treason by India Holtman. Um, I have read book one, The League of Gentlemen Witches. Actually, that's book two. And then you've got The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels, which is one I want to read. I want to reread all of them, actually, and I want to do, like, a reading vlog for it. This one, though, is based on um, the servant and Miss uh, Lady, like the tea lady. I'm not sure. Agent Alice must save the nation between cups of tea, but has she time for some crumpets? When rumours circulate that a group of uh, devastating... Um, dastardly pirates plan to assassinate the queen. Alice is immediately assigned to the case. However, she won't be working alone. Enter Daniel Bixby, master spy and Alice's greatest rival. Together must assume the identity of a husband and wife in order to infiltrate a perilous pirate party. Alice is determined to remain professional. This is work after all, but when an attraction starts to grow, there may be more at stake than just the throne. Um, I love the writing style of this. If you love um, Bridgerton, if you love Pride and Prejudice, if you love books like that and you want though a bit more of a humour edge to it, then these are for you. They do have a little bit of spice in them, um, but they're just hilarious. But look at this cover. This cover is just divine. I absolutely love it. Honestly, left me laughing. It was one of my favourite books from last year and I cannot wait to read the next one. Okay, the next is uh, A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon. Look at that cover cute. Isn't that cute? I, I think I'm starting to sense a theme. Anyway, so this one is by Sarah Howley. So it says, Marion Spark knows not to trust a demon, but what's a witch to do when she's accidentally bound to one? Kind of sounds like a better version of Kingdom of the Wicked. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. <laughs> Muriel is prophesied to be the most powerful witch seen in centuries, but she prefers baking bread to brewing potions. When a spell goes very wrong, Muriel finds herself staring down at a demon, one she inadvertently summoned for a soul bargain. Osrith? The Ruthless is a, a legend among his kind, but ever since a bargain went awry, he's been a laughing stock. A deal with Muriel could earn back his deadly reputation. However, getting Muriel to sign over her soul is going to be a lot harder than he anticipated. Osroth can't leave her side until she makes a deal, and becoming awkward roommates quickly escalates into a real attraction. But Osroth is running out of time, and if he succeeds, he'll damn Muriel and their chance at love in the process. That's so cute! It's cute, but not cute at the same time. <laughs> I love it. It kind of reminds me of the Hex Appeal, or what was the other one I read? Oh, what was it? Is it the Hex Appeal? Maybe. No! Um. Oh. Not your average hot guy. That's what it was. Not your average hot guy. The one with the demon and all. So good. But anyway, that's that one. I'm excited for that. And the last one. I have been searching. Like, searching for this book. Uh, in hardcover because I don't know about you but it's really hard to find this book in hardcover unless you bought it in a book edition and I got it I got it in hardcover I got it Amazon cost me like 40 something bucks but it took me forever to get and that snake on the front is everything look at it isn't it amazing? So, obviously, Ninth House, Lee Bardugo. Uh, if you don't know what this book is about, where have you been? Um, it is just your plain cover, but inside it does have some nice end pages with the snake. I've heard so many people talk about this and how amazing it is um, with that dark academia kind of look, the idea of summoning demons. I am so excited, and I really just want to get to the second one. <laughs> so... I got Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Um, I think I'm probably going to get the audiobook version of this, and I may even annotate this version. Um, but, yes. So, that is all the books, people. Uh, it is quite a few books, including the one and the stuff from Fairy Loot. So, let's have a look at the books. There is a lot. Um, 
I don't know if I'm going to keep fairy loot, but we will find out soon. I will figure that out as we go. I just broke my nail. Good job, Kate. Good job. Anyway, I'm going to go off and probably read a chapter of each book and see which one I'm going to start. I do have one that I do need to finish, and I do also have one over there that I want to finish too. So actually, I actually have three over there, but anyway so many books so little time anyway i hope you have enjoyed this video i have enjoyed saving these up and doing an unboxing with you some of them were a surprise i forgot that i ordered some of them um especially this one um but yeah if you like this video please remember to hit that like button and the subscribe if you haven't already it lets me know which books that you like I hope you have enjoyed this video that you have a wonderful afternoon morning or night wherever you are that you keep on reading you keep the magic alive and thanks for visiting bye